Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you would love to see next, and please subscribe. Okay guys, today we're trying another Lay's product. It's not the stacks, but it is Lay's lime flavor chips. Oh, how do you call it? Limon? Limon? I don't really know how you say that, but um, yeah. I don't know how lime flavored chips would taste, but today we're going to be trying it, and I'm going to pause the video so you guys can read the nutrition facts, and then we'll get into the review. Man, to not be honest guys, I was still trying this because I don't like trying new things. This is the way I have this third channel. And so I don't fill my main channel up with a lot of reviews because a lot of people on my main channel don't like doing, like, like, like me doing reviews a lot. And with it being a different content channel of all kinds of content, I'm not trying to do too many reviews on that channel. But, um, yeah. And who in the heck is this guy up here? <laughs> is that is that Lay's guy? Lay's mascot? It doesn't smell like lime. It smells like the Lay's original with some grass smell to it. It smells like grass with Lay's on it. This is a good tip to start off with. Ooh. It's tangy. Oh wow. That that's a really good oh my. That right there, <clears throat> sorry guys, that right there is a really, really good chip. Despite trying it, I was scared of trying this, and now that I did, I kind of wanted to go buy some more of these. This is not terrible chip. I do like the tanginess of it. It's not too strong of a lime flavor to it, but it is good. For the lime flavor of this, between 1 and 10, uh, the flavor is between six, well, five and six. So it's not too strong and it's not too weak. It meets it right in the middle where it's just perfect. And that's what people would like in a chip, you know? I wouldn't like it too strong, I wouldn't like it too weak. And for the salt, and for the saltiness of it, for the saltiness of it, it's not too salty at all. It's just like the original lace, you know? Besides that, I mean, I guess people try these chips and everything. Like, I've seen a couple of review channels trying these and telling people it's disgusting, uh, don't buy this and everything. And then some people that see it uh, believe what they say and just say, oh, I'm not going to buy that. It's just not good. But if you guys are not a big fan of tangy chips or uh, something that has, like, a lime in, in it and stuff, this probably isn't going to be for you. <clears throat> but in my opinion... Now, this is just my opinion. I would go out and buy this again. But not like... Not like every day. It wouldn't be like an everyday thing or... Something like that. It would be like every once... It would be like every once in a while, you know. Something that would be like... I haven't had this for a while. I'll go back and buy it again, you know. But not like my main chip. So I got that pause to give me a drink for a second on my tea. Um, but yeah, now this, 
I wouldn't put this in my top five favorite chip flavors, but what I would do as my number one favorite chip as of right now, it's the Pringles Ravy Barbecued Chips. Now these are really, really good chips, and I love these a lot. So, <laughs> and these aren't even spicy, but they are good though. Put some Taco Bell mallet sauce on it. Oh, it's good. But, um, yeah, I use Taco Bell sauce, like the mallet Taco Bell sauce, as a salsa and everything. <clears throat> Which is not really because technically it's a sauce for tacos, but it's also, they can use it for tortillas and everything else, the tortilla chips. So, it's it's really good and stuff. But that's not about this. But, um... If you guys have had this, comment down below what you would try. Like, comment down below what you think about these. And tell me your thoughts on what you thought when you both, when you first tried it. Would I recommend you guys buying it if you haven't had this? It's up to you all. I mean, normally I would say yes, go ahead and try this. But since it has a hint of lime to it, uh, you do taste the lime a little bit. So, I mean... <laughs> I don't know what how people like lime a whole lot in chips, so I'm gonna leave this one up to you. But if you ask me, I'm just gonna go say yes. Try these if you haven't. It's always a new experience to try these out. And um, I do want to try another one because they are pretty good on camera. Because you know, I just like these chips. Also, when you guys were reading, reading the nutrition facts, I did see the American version of ingredients and the, I guess it's Mexican version of ingredients. I don't know if that's Mexican writing or something. I don't know. But, um, correct, correct me in the comments if you think that was Mexican writing or if it wasn't. Uh, I can't, I'm sorry if I'm saying something wrong, but, um, yeah. But this is this would probably be good with the, like a classic bologna sandwich or a, uh, like an Italian sub or something, you know. But um, with that being said, I'm gonna go make me a sandwich and put some carrots with it. And I will see you guys in the next video. From zero out of twenty, I would rate these chips a fifteen. Next, pretty darn close to twenty, so it's a like for me.